Chairman, it really is a pleasure to be here. Uh, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the town of Oosterwall now lies in the eastern part of Hamblin County. At one time, it was the county seat of James County, known at that time Little Jimmy, little sliver of a county. Now, because James County didn't handle its money right, James County went out of business. So Oosterwall, not being a county seat anymore, is now a suburb of Chattanooga. In the town of Oosterwall lives a man who was a great credit to the Tennessee legislature and to his party, the Republican Party, named David Copeland. Any of you ever know Dave Copeland? Good, yes. He was a good man. Dave Copeland got concerned and worried about the fact that we might spend more than we had, which is a bad thing to do. We've done that, too. So he tried to devise a method to keep us from doing that. He proposed an amendment to the Constitution, which was adopted, known as the Copeland Cap. And the Copeland Cap tries to make us not spend more than we have take in, than we take in. That's the idea of it. Also, the idea is for the public to know which ones of us voted to do that. And the way we the way that's happened is the Copeland Cap sets up a system whereby a separate bill contains nothing else. You have to vote for it against it. You break the Copeland Cap. We've done that too. So this morning, Mr. Speaker, Representative Rogers in the House and I come to you with a method of making the Copeland Cap hopefully do what it was designed to do, what it was advocated for. And if I may, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, I will ask for motion on the bill and amendment which makes a bill, and then if the committee would hear Controller Wilson on the contents of the amendment. Okay, it's been moved by Senator Massey, seconded by Senator Hale, uh, and without objection, we'll go into recess to hear from Comptroller Wilson. Uh, up, up there will be fine, Mr. Comptroller. Without objection, we're in recess. As we know, there's, and as a, if you would please state your name and who you. This prefer. is Justin Wilson. I'm the state comptroller, and I'm pleased to be here. And as you know, the Copeland cap is part of our constitution and is part of our law. Uh, there's been considerable concern about what the Copeland cap does or doesn't do, and amending the constitution is serious stuff. And if we're talking about amending the Constitution, it needs to be done correctly, thoughtfully. And what this bill does is direct the funding board to study the Copeland cap, to study the alternatives to the Copeland cap, and if changes are necessary, to make recommendations to the General Assembly that will do so. This is the first step in a long process, and all that all this does is to direct the funding board to do the research, do uh, to do the analysis, and to make recommendations to the General Assembly by I, I believe the date's January one of next year. Are there any questions for the comptroller? Seeing none, uh, Mr. Wilson, thank you very much for being here with us this morning. Without objection, we'll go back into session. Uh, se okay. Senator Henry, uh, do, do, are there any amendments with this bill? Yes, sir. The amendment, <clears throat> the amendment which had been distributed to the members replaces the printed bill and does what Mr. Wilson just described. Okay, members, you should have the amendment with you. It is drafting code 4567, and the amendment makes... The amendment makes the amendment makes the bill. Uh, it's been moved by Senator Massey, seconded by Senator Hale. Uh, are there any questions on the amendment? We've heard an explanation from from both Senator Henry and and Comptroller Wilson on the on 
the amendment really that makes the bill. Uh, without any que questions and without any objections, we'll take a voice vote. All those in favor uh, of amendment number one, drafting code 4567, say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. Ayes have it. The bill is now before us as amended. Are there any further questions for the sponsor? <clears throat> Uh, Senator Henry, thank you for bringing this. I've, al I've always thought, uh, and, and I'm sure this, this will probably be part of the study, uh, at least part of the questions that are, that are raised in the study, I've always thought the, the one glaring weakness to the Copeland cap was it just required a simple majority to override instead of a two-thirds majority. Uh, and that's, that's something that I hope that the, that the group who put, puts this together will, will look at that. Uh, I, I believe... Um, I was not in the legislature at the time, but I, I can remember the news around it, and I can remember when uh, Representative Copeland at that time proposed this amendment and the fanfare around this amendment, but I don't think it had, it's had the effect that he intended uh, since its passage. And so I appreciate you bringing, here, bringing that the, this bill here this morning. Any further questions? Seeing none, uh, Mr. Clark, if you would, please take the vote. Senator Bowling? Aye. Votes aye. Senator Crow? Senator Hale? Votes aye. Senator Harper? Aye. Votes aye. Senator Kyle? Aye. Votes aye. Senator Massey? Aye. Votes aye. Senator Stevens? Aye. Votes aye. Senator Somerville? Chairman Bell? Aye. Votes aye. Seven ayes.